Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga. Our top story this evening, team coverage out of Bisbee, where a fire destroyed two buildings overnight. Our Pat Paris joins us live from Main Street, where firefighters are still working to put out any hot spots. Pat, what are you seeing out there? Uh, Heidi, we are right on Main Street. In fact, it's closed uh, this uh, block section here. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what firefighters are doing. They're spraying water into those top uh, story, uh, second story windows. Any hot spots that are flaring up, they're making sure that they can put those out as quickly as they begin to, uh, to fire back up again. Uh, these two buildings, that's where the damage was limited, uh, fortunately, for the fire that started. Uh, just uh, 21 hours ago, yet uh, firefighters continue to uh, to spray water on it. Let's show you some brand new drone video we shot a short time ago over Main Street here in downtown Bisbee. You can see the fire destroyed the two buildings next to each other while the adjacent buildings have been saved. Bisbee Fire continues to spray water into those windows, as I mentioned, uh, that uh, they continue to see those hot spots spark up. I did speak with a retired captain from Bisbee Fire. He tells me that Bisbee Fire does not have a ladder truck, and it was a combined effort of several departments in this area that helped keep the fire contained to the two buildings. He says Douglas Fire brought their ladder truck last night, and that's when firefighters were able to gain the upper hand on this fire. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but this is still an active scene, as you can see behind me. We're coming back out here live. That retired fire captain told me as well, that they're really lucky that this thing didn't spread any further than that, and they were fortunate to have that ladder truck come up from uh, Douglas. Many people are reminded of the devastating fire that happened more than 100 years ago that wiped out most of this uh, town of Bisbee. I'm going to show you some video now. In October of 1908, fire broke out in the Grand Hotel located on Main and quickly spread through Bisbee, jumping from building to building and house to house. This historic photo shows the aftermath. In all, some 100 structures, including 60 homes, were destroyed by the fire. Reports say 500 people were left homeless. Now, Bisbee Fire Department only had a horse-drawn engine at the time, and they were battling water pressure during that fire. The first motorized fire truck didn't arrive in Bisbee until 1917. We're back out here live. Alexis Ramanjulu, uh, you were here at about 9.30 this morning, so you've been witnessing everything that's been going on here today in Bisbee. Yeah, yeah, Pat, it's been a lot of shock and a lot of work. Uh, yes, the yes. fire crews have been out here way before that I got here and they've been putting water on these two buildings for the last three hours um, that we've been here shooting uh, but we've also seen a lot of people with questions and coming out here in the last hour or so to just take a look at the damage and what's left of these historic buildings. Bisbee Mayor Ken Budge says the Fire crews arrived on scene at 916 Wednesday night, three minutes after receiving the call. He says the fire started in the back of the building before taking the roof off of both buildings. The fire department put out an all call to other departments to help with the flames, which was answered by NACO, Palominas, and Douglas Fire Departments. People are saying the ladder truck from Douglas is what prevented the fire from spreading to the other buildings. Budge says the cause of the fire is still under investigation. I spoke with Mike Gregg, who was staying at the hotel next door, who says bricks were falling into his room, which is when he noticed the fire. One lady was kind of arguing with me, didn't believe me, and I said, look up, and there was a skylight. You could see flames shooting like crazy right there. So then everybody did go out. And as they were going down, the firefighters were coming up. It's quite the night, that's for sure. And Greg came back the here this morning just to see the damage and he even told me he might try and keep the hotel keys as a reminder <laughs> and a memory a of souvenir. this. Yeah, yeah, a little souvenir here. Wow, what an amazing story he has to tell. The bricks falling in in his yeah. room. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. a scary sight. Yeah. And I know you'll be here again tomorrow to continue to, to follow this story. Yes. All right, Alexis, thank you. Uh, I'm going to have my chief photographer, John Perra, uh, zoom in a little bit and you'll see all the bricks. Speaking of bricks falling, that's from the facade of one of the two buildings, and the other building's facade is precariously hanging on there, and that's why the street is closed now. It'll remain closed for quite some time, I'm sure, because of the dangers of those bricks. Uh, Madison Thomas uh, from Kagan 9 has been here today as well. I know you're, you're from Douglas, so this is nothing new to come to Bisbee. Unfortunately, we're covering a fire this time and not just coming here 
for the, the terrific uh, uh, culture and, 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 and ambiance of, of, of Bisbee. Yes, unfortunately not here under under great circumstances, yeah. but it is important that we're all here co covering what's happening. And yes, Pat, I've been here since early afternoon and throughout the day, I continue to see smoke coming out of the buildings. And as you guys can see behind us, crews still out here working. Along with that, I was able to talk to both locals and tourists about what they've experienced. One tourist tells me that he saw the light of the fire from his hotel room last night and thought maybe the town was having an event for Valentine's Day. He then realized it was a building that was on fire. Tourists like the one I spoke to are usually going in and out of local shops and restaurants, especially here on Main Street where we are. But today, many of the businesses on Main Street are closed and many people are trying to figure out what exactly happened last night. Bisbee is such a quaint place that whenever I came up and saw everything going on, like it was just worrisome, you know, and uh, Bisbee is such a small town, like word just spreads. So like everybody's just really worried and, you know, trying to figure out what happened and nobody really knows yet. And most of the locals I have spoken to are keeping a pretty positive attitude, though. They're saying they're just happy that everyone was okay and yeah. there were no injuries. Yeah, nobody hurt, and uh, it was contained as those two buildings. All right, Madison, yes, thank sir. you. Thank you, uh, And Heidi, as I uh, get ready to send it back to you, I'll let you know that there's a restaurant right next to us, and it is doing gangbuster business. People are coming to see the fire, going to the restaurant. So it is business as usual for all but about six uh, retailers down here on Main Street, all affected by the fire and some way as the firefighters uh, continue to put out some of the hot spots behind us. All right, Pat, thank you so much.